Hey, Shalom Akim. Hey, Yabba Shemel Shai, broke a thumb to your brothers, little my sisters. I praise to Yabba Shemel Shai, Demar said apostles over there at Great Millstone. I'm going to start this video off with this uh, this clip that the brother Amawan I bought had put together. Let me tell you something. I honestly don't feel safe in America anymore. I don't feel safe consuming the food. I don't feel safe consuming the water. I don't feel safe having a child here or sending them to school. I don't feel safe in any home. Every day I wake up, every bone in my body literally tells me to run. Every ounce of me wants me to leave. Run for your life. Go back to Africa. That's all I hear. That's daily. I think about this daily because I feel like at any moment something bad is going to happen here. People are slowly losing their rights. Freedom of speech was like the first one in the uh, Bill of Rights, right? Now it's a thing of the past. They're forcing things inside of you to mess with your DNA. As soon as I came to America, I gained weight. I started becoming fat. I started being unhealthy. I got depressed. I was just recently in a very deep depression that lasted over a year. Right before I started my TikTok account. Am I the only one who thinks this? I honestly, honestly feel like it's very, very unsafe being in America right now. I feel like COVID was a warning for us all to leave. I know many of you saying, no, don't leave. This was our land. We were here first. But it's not about leaving it indefinitely. It's about leaving, at least knowing that you have somewhere safer to be until things die down a bit. It's about going out there to discover life. Because I went to the Netherlands in 2017 and that was... I'll stop it right there. That was good enough. But nonetheless, brethren, hold a slot because I'm driving. Like it, brothers. All right. Yes, I'm driving. You know what I mean? But hey, brethren, hey, what does Micah chapter um, 2, verse 10 say? What does Micah 2, verse 10 say? It says, uh, Rise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. It would destroy you even with a sword destruction. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, man, that's the God of the Bible. The prophet's been telling the world that America is not what it's painted itself to be. You know? But that this kingdom was the um place that was chosen for the punishment of the Israelites, the Negro Latino Native American men. That's the reason why the transatlantic slave trade was successful with bringing the southern kingdom over here and the Edomites, the self-proclaimed white men, was successful for bringing the the north from from taking the northern kingdom's land. The Israelites. This place was never meant to um, be that be that forever kingdom where people just live like it's it's, it's literally heaven. No, the scripture tell you in Jeremiah the fifty the fifty first chapter, I believe. It says, Babylon have been a golden cup in the heavenly father's hand. And then it goes on further to say, we would have healed Babylon, but she could not be healed. This place is going down. And you've seen that woman. She, 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 her coming from another country and thinking that it was all peaches and cream when she first got here. Now that she didn't been here and uh, it didn't set and marinated in with her life. 
Now that she been here in America and then marinated in, she feel how all this, this place is terrible, man. She said she gained weight. She went, she walked through episodes of depression. You know? She just going through it. You know, she's not happy. And, and that goes for a lot of you women out there that take advantage of the goodies of this kingdom. You're going to have a rude awakening pretty soon when the Heavenly Father allowed his Edomite um, to enforce his new world order that he wants to establish. You're going to have a day and you're going to have the coldest day in hell, man. The coldest day. And this woman right here, she's already feeling it. She's feeling it. But see, what happens is that you people out there, um, your lust, your desires, your will to do whatever you want blinds you from reality. It blinds you. Wanting to lay with this nigga, wanting to be with that nigga, wanting to make being your bagging, chase this dollar bill. It blinded, it had blinded you, man. To where you can't see what's going on in reality. But there's a saying, you can ignore reality, but you cannot ignore the consequences for ignoring reality. That's a saying. That is a saying. And you people, y'all ignore reality because of the entertainment that this damn self-proclaimed white man has shoved in your face. But see, the prophets of Yahweh Shemel Shai the Heavenly Father has given us the eye salve that's, that's written of in the book of Revelations and we can see through the crap. So now Micah, said, Micah 2 and 10 makes all the sense in the world. Micah 2 and 10 makes sense. This place would destroy you. This place would tear you apart, man. Mentally. Suck you dry. This kingdom was not set up for you, Negro, Latino, Native Americans to prosper. Unless you're bowing down and worshiping Satan. Unless you're doing wickedness. You're doing, uh, unless you're doing the things that the Heavenly Father do not like. That's the only way you will prosper. That's it. And we've been telling y'all that. You got to get right with the Heavenly Father and His Son. Because what that woman was feeling was all the effects of the curses that's written in Deuteronomy 28 chapter. It said the place where your feet should be at should have no ease. She wasn't at it. She wasn't at ease. You know? And that's going to come to all you, 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 you American citizens pretty soon. The Lord is going to snatch the veil of entertainment off of off your eyes and you're going to start seeing America for what it is, which is nothing but a big, big Satan worshiping concentration camp. You know? So, so, hey, man, I just want to just report on that. You know? And that brother I'm on, I bought had already jumped on it. When I had seen it, I was like, damn. But that's a fact. This place is terrible, man. This place is not where it's at. And that's why a servants of Yahweh Shemel and Shai constantly on a daily a daily basis, we're trying to, uh, we're praying and crying to the Heavenly Father to deliver us, man. Baruch Shai, Yahweh Shemel and Shai, deliver your elect, okay? Deliver the elect. But that's also why Yahweh Shai said he didn't endure to the end because the Lord, the Lord Yahweh Shai knew this is what we was going to have to be facing in these times. This crazy ass kingdom, man. You know, but nonetheless, you know, hey, hey, um, the Lord's going to the Lord's going to kick these women's ass, kick these men ass. And we're going we're going to enjoy what y'all about Shemel was shy. Um, the mercy that he's going to show on us, man. Continue to stay strong. I can y'all about Shemel was shy. Broke a thumb.